Just restart. I like that. I like that. And let's pull it out here. It looks like they've got themselves confused. Here we go on defense. So let's watch it up with attack with Quantum. And let's see what they're going here. So, oh, we're going to try that again. Fine. Let's pull it up with Spit Race. Everyone wants to see a bit of Spit Race tonight. So let's pull it up with Spit Race and see what's going on. Spit Race is coming out over into Small Bridge. Let's see what the rest of the team are doing. We have got two big bridge, three small bridge. Nades have gone out into that B bomb site. Boontang, quick scope there. Takes down Mitch. Danger Man out the way straight away. Boontang, very good with the scope. I can't give him enough credit. Silent kill picks up one as well. 2v5 in favor of Quantum here, ladies and gentlemen, for a bit of a surprise start. And bomb should be going down in a minute. We've got all the boys surrounding the B bomb site, locking it down. Traddy would be most impressed with that. Ruthless here with the bomb. Bomb does go down. Silent kill takes out Trez. Only one up. Last one up is Mooney coming over big bridge. bridge. Big flash. Doesn't quite see someone on B bomb site. Jumps around. See someone on Red Rock. Takes a few shots. Can't quite get him. He does with the car. Well done, Mooney. Jumps around the corner. Takes down Boontang. Plus two. Couldn't quite do it. And Quantum, to everyone's surprise, they look very strong in that first round and take it out. One to zero. Shout out to James. We sure can give a shout out to James. If you're watching... Uh, James, which we know you are, on the uh, cybergamer.com.au website, our stream from there. Um, thank you very much for joining us. So an interesting round there. Let's pull it out here once again. Not with Spit Race. Let's see what Boontang's doing. He's dropped the scope this round, surprisingly, and he did make an impact. Mitch does get first blood this time. Boontang onto Mitch. So one for one here, moving right up to this B bomb site. They want to secure it. Boontang takes down Rain. I don't think Rain was watching and had a bit of time there and just uh, slow to react. Boontang making sure this bridge is clear. Three apiece. Left up. They're just trying to secure this bomb site. Mooney does take down Boontang. Mooney's heavily tagged just on the outside of uh, main bridge here. Ruthless on to Trev's. Trev's not off to a good start, though. He does take out Silent Kill and Elevate. Pull that one back. One apiece here, fresh. Uh, yeah, one apiece. Start off pretty well, Quantum. <laughs> Surprising with the first round. Let me take this round out, sign off. Yeah, mate, take this round. Welcome fresh. All right, I'm going to elevate some love. I'm going to go with Muni. You can see he's flanking a bit today. He's flanked twice already. Seems to be pushing A pretty hard. Quantum has stuck with their straight and gone to big. Trev's here sitting in this gay corner. Yeah, Trev's taking out one. Trev's can't get that one lucky. Ironic takes out Trev's. We've got Muni here still pushing the flank. Raptor... Dying to Ironic. Ironic's being strong there. Taking out two. We got Mitch here on the rock right there. And Rain is in river. Silent Kill watching this cave. Bomb is being planted. Boontang takes out Mitch. Good shot from Boontang there. Ironic is really heavily tagged up there. Rain takes out Ironic. And right here, Boontang. Bomb is planted. They are just defending it here. We've got Rain here at YB. And we got Muni here at YB as well. So 2v3 two two, two here. Three up for Quantum, two up for Elevate. Muni takes out Ruthless, 2v2 here. We got Sol Muni takes out Muni. Huge from Muni. Alright, here we go. We got Boontang against two. What can he do here? He's got Muni towards his left and one on the bomb. Takes out one, sees the other one. He should right win this. There. He might win this one. He should have this. The bomb is not being deep. Oh, he needs a what? couple more seconds. He's got it. He's got it. There you go. Quantum take out this round. Strong round from Boontang there. Strong round for Boontang, absolutely. Boontang, 6-2. He's, really, uh, he's really dominating this early few rounds here. And on the other side, we've got Mooney doing okay on 5-2. and two. So Boontang as well does have that one assist. And anyone who's played with me knows how important those assists are. It doesn't matter how many kills or deaths, as long as you get an assist. Isn't that right, Mango? Even though he can't hear us. Let's follow up. Let's see what Trev's doing this round. Trev hasn't had a good start. Spit Roast is... Uh, Doing a bit of spam there. So we've got a good spread across mid here if we see. Not too much on B. I think they've called it and they might be switching to A. If you can see that fresh, they have done a switch to A. Mooney, Mitch, yeah. Trevs, all doing big things there. Taking out three key players. 5v2, 5v4 now. Boontang pulls one back on the elevate. Raptor here coming in for a little bit of support with the scope. As predicted, we'll be doing the scope juice tonight. Does get Boontang with a nice nade. I think that may have been uh, a secondary or the car blew up first and... Uh, Certainly gave him a bit of damage, and that's another one to elevate. Only losing the one player that round. Uh, 2v2. I think some of the secrets here is uh, Quantum need to get a couple of rounds up and really put that pressure on elevate. At the moment, being 
uh, two apiece is a good start for them. Um, and that's probably along the lines of what they want. If they can keep up with them for most of the game, that's how you are... Uh, that's how you got to start off so you can get the win under your belt. Raptor here with the scope looking up towards B Bridge. Does get flash. Couldn't see anyone coming across. Is it another A? No, it's not. It's a B here with Spit Race. In, in uh, Red Rock. Gets heavily flashed. Mitch takes down Silent Kill. Boontang here with the scope offering some support. Mitch was on to him. Takes down Boontang and Trez on Ironic. Spit Race gets one back on Trez. Mitch here with some nice shooting. Seesawing up in Butcher. Couldn't quite take him down. And Mooney on the spit race. 1v3 situation. Last one up, Ruthless here for Quantum. Over near over near our Slaughterhouse does get taken down. So Elevate for the first time tonight. Pull it out to the lead after five rounds. It is two to three fresh. If you want to give it a go, take it another round here on the uh, Team Down TV Modern Warfare 3 Shoutcast. Will do, Cyanide. I'm going to be specking Rain this round, showing him some love. Pretty sure he's playing mid here, if I can actually find him. Yep, I found Rain. Rain is pushing up here in connector. We got, looks like Quantum are doing the same straight again. Another B. Couple wide, couple on the stone bridge. We got Muni here pushing the flank really hard. We got Rain taking our cycle. Boontank takes our Rain. Mitch takes our Spiros. Mitch takes our Ruthless. Trevs takes our Ironic. Quick round from Elevate there. That's 4-2 their lead on defense. Yeah, Quantum, after those last two rounds, they just need to uh, settle down a little bit. If they're going to have a rushing fight, they're not going to win it against uh, Elevate. Season 1, Elevate were moving slower than a snail. Season 2, they come back and thought, let's put a bit of speed into our game, and went really, really strong. And if Quantum want to do the uh, rush game against Elevate, they're not going to win that at all, I don't think. Uh, Elevate, too strong, too sharp, and will beat them. Pretty much every time, Spit Roast here in church, having a bit of a pray, saying, someone help my team, they're in a bit of trouble right now, what can you do for me? And not doing much, he's obviously got a bit to pray about there, as he's not moving. Boontang here with scope, let's have a quick look at where they're going. Not far, we've got one watching B Bridge, and we've got Spit Roast here, 4v4 situation. Mitch is solid here, watching... Making sure no one is coming through into B bomb site. Rain watching River. He's got that locked down pretty well. Silent Kill with a big nade there. Uh, interesting uh, enough, they might want to go into B. And they do have Mitch up there waiting. Silent Kill isn't going to do much though with that ump. So they are trying to sit back a bit and just kill buy a bit of time. But elevate a. Uh, they've got the, some really good spots here, and I don't think they're going to get through. Ironic just saying he doesn't know comms. No one knows comms. That's what makes it so exciting. Raptor does take down Spit Roast. Silent Kill pushing up here and will be walking into Mitch very soon. Mitch does take taking shots at someone. Doesn't quite get it. Jumps around the corner. Uh, Silent Kill and Mitch takes him down with his ump. One up, one down. That is another one there to elevate. Five to two. Just starting to pull it away a little bit. Anyone out there want to change their... Um, want to change their predictions here with Quantum winning. Early game, and obviously uh, we can see anything change after half time when they switch sides, but at the moment, quite, uh, Elevate just starting to get on a bit of a roll. Let's have a look here at uh, Mitch, who's really starting to pick things up if I can find him. There he is, just over here, just underneath uh, Scope Rock. Everything's flashed up and smoked up here, pushing through. Rain does pull up. First blood with a headshot onto Silent Kill. Boontang and Spit Roast pushing through hard. Takes down Rain and Mitch. Bombs coming in now to be bombsite with Ruthless carrying it, making sure it's all secure. Teammate does go down inside cave. Uh, but Ruthless couldn't quite pick him up. Spit Roast did the work there. And Mooney saying, spec me. Well, it just so happens, Mooney, we... Uh, we went to you as we said that. Big nade. Big, big nade there. Maybe that's what he wanted to see. Pat on the back for you then, Sunshine, if that's what you're after. Does take down a play. No, not quite. They also see someone there in slaughter. Can he get him? Out with the big flash. Out with the flash. Not moving anywhere. And smart by Mooney just sitting back. As we've learned this season, it doesn't matter if you get tags when they're flashed. You don't know how flashed they are. Jumps around the corner. Not quite good enough there. And spit roast. And his boys at Quantum do pull one back. Three to five now. And they kind of needed that one just to give them a bit of confidence and a bit of a settler there as Elevate were looking pretty strong fresh. Yeah, looking strong now, Elevate, but still 5-3 good from Quantum. And three rounds on attack, as we know, is very hard on Village. Anyway, we've got 
Bit Rose here pushing down wide, but I'll give Quantum a bit of love today. We've got Raptor taking out Ruthless again, once again. Raptor sending in that cave spot. Spiro's getting some flags, tags out with them flashes. See someone on truck doesn't shoot him. Gets flashed pretty heavily in cave. Raptor takes out Spit Roast. Ironic onto Trev's. Trev's onto Ironic. How ironic is that? Anyway, we got Raptor here, and we got Rain sitting on truck and Boontang with the bomb, watching River, and Mitch here sitting under Scope Rock. We got. Only Booney up, if I, yes it is, only Booney up under River, 4v1 here, pretty um, steady hold they've got here, Elevate, every point covered. Anyway, we got Boontang doing the little snake towards here, wide B, we got Boontang looking in cave, gets spotted by Raptor, taking him down, and another good round from Elevate. That's the problem, I think, at the moment with Quantum. If they take too long to get where they need to go, Elevator just locking it down and they're not going to get through. Uh, they're very, very good at what they do Elevate. And that's why they're undefeated. Even last season, um, grand final against um, Xenox, they did a fantastic job. Let's see what Mooney's going to do this round here. He's going to go with the flank with Rain. So two are coming in for the flank here. They're really going in for the jugular. Trevs does take now Spit Roast. Ironic on the Trevs. Rain... Picks up Boontank, 4v3, and Mooney is pushed all the way over into Large Bridge now. And he does get a tag up there and takes down Silent Kill. Yes, he does. He takes him out. So only one up once again. Who is that poor soldier? It is Ruthless, and he is over in Slaughter once again. Does get spotted up and taken down. Elevate looking pretty good at the moment. Not much of a contest here. And who, uh, United, what did you say? 16-7. Uh, yeah, something like that. Sixty-seven. I think you might be. Uh, you might be on the Mooney, may I say, or the Mooney. So the Mooney. The Mooney. <laughs> That's what it's looking like at the moment. Let's have a look at Trevs. Haven't seen much of Trevs. He has been a little bit quiet here. Looks like lots of nades, flashes, smoke, everything coming into this B bomb site. Pretty sure they're going to try hit this one hard. Rain accidentally takes down Mooney with a nade. Doesn't help him out. Boontang and Ruthless pick up one as well. So it's two on five. This time, Spit Roast and his boys may actually pick one up, and they do, not just do, they uh, pull it up without making a loss. Good round by Quantum there. they just got to set their pace. They can't go back to going slow now like they do in a couple other rounds and let Elevate extend their lead, but good round from Quantum there. They held back just long enough then, Fresh, for those nays to drop, and look, not enough teams do that. Too many teams rush in and catch the nades, me being... Probably the biggest culprit more than anyone of doing silly stuff like that. Spit Rush really push in here. He will get a frag, but he's got someone behind Red Rock or in cave. He's heavily flashed. He's just spamming out trying to pick up something lucky. Can't do it. Ironic on bomb site. 4v5. Are they going to get this bomb down or just make sure it's all secure? We know what Traddy want. Mitch and Rain pulling up a frag each. Now Quantum, one behind. Boontang moving in checking around near uh, scope rock can't do it only one up here if i'm not mistaken no it's 2v2 it's 2v2 so the boys have done all right elevator done all right after taking a few early hits we got mitch and raptor bomb is down on b and let's see where they're going to defend spit roast would probably be better off there pushing up into their spawn but now he, he's confused he's gone and confused himself here ladies and gentlemen and now it's 1v2 spit roast against the two Elevate boys and spit roast. I don't know if he's confusing himself. He's definitely confusing me Mitch gets taken down No Raptor takes down spit roast. So they'll get that um, They'll get that diffuse no problems, but yeah spit roast definitely a bit confused. there. not too sure what to do If you want to uh, take a round for oh, us, get yeah. warmed up mate <laughs> Sorry about that, son. Anyway, I'm going to take out this round with Raptor. See how he's going down there in cave. Uh, to see what Quantum are doing quickly. They go in another wide B push like they have been doing mostly this game. We've got Boontang taken down. Ruthless. Oh, his own teammate. Mitch with the double kill. Already down to a 5v2. And not looking good for Quantum. Silent Kill takes down Rain. And we got Raptor. Oh, he's pulled out his flash just before he could pull up the shot. we got Mitch here giving some heavy tags on... Stone Bridge, we got Booney, they look like they're pushing back to A, not sure here, we got Muni here on the flank, dying to Silent Kill, Silent Kill with the bomb here, we got Trevs onto Stone Bridge, Raptor at well in spawn, and Boontang and his teammate Silent Kill, don't know what to do here, a bit like 
spit roast last round. Don't know if to go to A or don't know if to go to B. Anyway, we've got Trevs here on connector. Boontang coming around, just about to kill. Don't know who it is. He just saw someone on my screen. Yeah, it was. He did. He saw Mitch there. It's down to a 2v2. Quantum have done good this round from 5v2 to 2v2. we got Boontang and Song. It looks like they're going to go back to B. We've got Trevs here at White U and Raptor in spawn. It'll be a great time to push onto the bomb now. So I'll kill, but... Not sure he knows where they are. So we've got Trevs here in River. Boontang Danks now. Trevs from a 5v2 to a 2v1. Quantum's favour. We've got Silent Kill here on Stone Bridge. Raptor here at Scope Rock or just above that, as I could say. We've got Silent Kill going to jump on the bomb. Yes, he is. He's putting the bomb down. And we've got Raptor here at below Scope's hill. So he's pushing. He's pushing the bomb. Doesn't spy anything, but he knows the bomb is down, and we got Boontang here sitting in some grass, just waiting for Raptor to poke. Raptor takes out Boontang, and he can get this if he plays it well. Don't want Silent Hill poking a scope here. His Raptor seems to be pushing down back to cave, and Silent Hill is looking at the bomb. This could work out very well for Raptor here if he times his run perfectly. And we're Silent Hill looking at cave, looks back at the bomb, looks back at cave. Doesn't Silent Hill spotted do. him, and he's ran off, I think. He's, he has, he's ran, he's going into River. Raptor's gone for the real defuse, ladies and gentlemen. He's gone for the real. Silent Kill knows it and Silent Kill takes him out. Great round from Quantum there. And as I want to say, Anok wants a call, shout out. So shout out to Anok. We're out of shout, shout outs now. I had a look and we're all out. We've given away three. <laughs> Come on, let's not be too greedy. Ladies, you know, four, I think. We gave one to Meow, James, Anok. Too many shout-outs have gone out. Let's pull it up here. Trevs. What's Big Trevs going to be doing this round? Checking it out. That's Beast Bomb coming around. And Ironic takes him down. Beautiful headshot there. Raptor, I'm not too sure what type of nade that was. I know you haven't seen me play too often, but that's definitely out of Cyanide's book of um, spastic things to do whilst playing first-person shooters. Not how we want. Spit raced here. Checking out Cave. So there's definitely a B site, a B push. Rain on to Silent Kill. 4v4 situation. And they're all around this B bomb site. They just need to get the confidence now, clear it out, back up each other, and get that bomb down. Raptor's got eyes on uh, Red Rock, so as soon as they poke their head out, they should be gone from there. Boontang is coming around into spawn. Does spot someone up. What's he going to do? He sees another one. He's missed him. Over to his left. He's missed oh, him. He no. gets taken down by the money man, Mooney. Bad vision there. And I don't even think I'm running 90 field of view at the moment, so not too sure. What Boontang was doing. Too focused there. Ironic does get a frag and elevate. Um, pull that round back as well. So five to nine. And one more before the round switch. Quantum would really want this one. You would think. Yeah, if they get six now, six nine on the half, that would be great. That would be great for Quantum. Especially going into defense. We know this is a strong defense map. But you know, I'd like to see what happens. I'll be taking out this round with Spit Roast. Throwing... A cyanide nade, I would call it. Sorry, cyanide, but I had to do it. Raptor taking out Ruthless Silent. He'll take out Mitch. Spiro sees one on the bomb. Boontang takes out Rain. While Rain did take out Silent Kill, Quant Boontang taking out Trevs with a strong plus 10 there. We've got Boontang here sitting next to this blue truck. Ironic taking this plant down. It is a 3v1. Muni is once again on the flank that he has been doing this most game. This time with a UMP flashing down onto the blue truck there. Does tag up Boontang. Boontang doesn't sort of know where that came from. And Muni's, if he looks, he's going to get him. But Boontang takes Muni out. And that is 6-9 on the half. Great half from Quantum. we got a game on our hands, Cyanide. We do. I just had to manually minimize the game and put up that uh, switching side one. Let's have a super quick look at these scores here. Boontang, 16-11. Spit Roast, 9-11. So, look, it's Boontang leading the way and carrying his team, only being three rounds behind. On the other side, we've got Raptor, 16-6. Uh, Mitch, 11-10. And Mooney, 12-9. So those boys, it's a little bit more of an even spread. Let's see what Raptor and his uh, boys here can do on attack. And it's only Raptor up here, so they haven't started off this attack very well. And Quantum have come through and absolutely demolished them. We're talking 9-7 and seven now, ladies and gentlemen. After a rough start, or a solid start, one for one, and elevate pull, or elevate pull out, Quantum are only two rounds behind.
So we might have another shift in who we think will win this match. It's been a it's been a great match so far. We've seen a bit of everything. Team killing, some great um, great teamwork, some really uh, spastic stuff as well. We've seen it all. So it's great. Let's have a look here. 5v5, starting of the uh, 17th round here. Trev sitting back in spawn, making sure everything is cool. Where are these Elevate boys going? It looks like they're all pushed around to the A site. And I don't think Quantum know about this. They're not moving much. Trev's here is going to cause a bit of a diversion. Bomb is down, so they must know about it now. Trev's coming around for the flank. See someone up on Pride Rock and does take him down. Elevate do somehow win that one and win it strong. It looked like Quantum may have had an advantage there for a short time. Yeah, Quantum did have that advantage, but Elevate's Raptors boys taking it out too strong in that round. And I'm going to spec Elevate again this round. I want to spec out Muni. Muni, Mitch, and Rain taking out Wide B here. We've got Trev's pushing down Stonebridge. He does spot one back rock and does spot one on truck. He takes him down. Trev's spots one. Trev's taking out Ironic. That's a double Huge. plus 10 for Trev's. Picking up his game. He sees a third. Just dies there. Ruthless. The bomb is getting planted, but Ruthless does another plus 10. It is huge. Ladies and gentlemen, Muni and Mitch taking out Ruthless and Silent Kill, and that will be the end of that round. That goes round goes to Elevate. 7-11 is the lead. Yeah, looking good there, Cyanide. Wow, that was a good round. That was good. Hard, fast, and absolutely came through and smashed them. Let's see what they're going to do this round, pulling out with Muni once again, waiting for the start. Just looking at this map here. Bomb gets picked up, and they look like they are going in for another big push into this B bomb site. Let's see what Mooney does. Yeah, as Fresh says, plus 10 galores. There was that round. Trez takes down Ironic first blood. Mooney's pushed in here into Slaughter. What can they do? Trez takes down Spit Rose with a lovely headshot there. 5v3. Elevator going in for the kill. Really pushing hard and making Quantum pay for it. Mooney here keeping an eye, making sure no one's coming through caves. Trez has got the front of the truck sorted out here. And there's only three up for Quantum. Let's see where those boys are. Boontang does pick up Mitch. He's in spawn up near well. And comms would have gone out and they're moving up to him. And it's all up to Boontang He's now. on a TD. You think he's going to team down? Yep. If he team down, we'll get you a T-shirt. Let's watch and see how this unfolds. Takes down uh -huh. one. Three up. And he couldn't do it. He couldn't do it, United. That tells me one of, uh, one of two things. You're full of shit. No more special comments for you, United. I had my hopes up for you, I'll be honest. I was rooting for you. It just didn't come off. I was even put a T-shirt on the line, mate. Just well, out to uh, one of... just out to Coil. He's uh, he, uh, Coil saying he's fresh casting. Yeah, mate, Fresh is throwing in a couple of rounds for a Sandman's busy tonight, if you know what I mean. So you can take this round if you want, Fresh. All right, well, we'll start off this round a bit late. It's anyway, it's, it looks like another A from... Elevate that Ute is on fire, Mitch. Yes, it is. Run away. Anyway, it looks like that Quantum have realised it is an A. Muni taking that song. Good, huge from Muni. Big shot. Big shot there. Boontain taking out Rain out there on that wide A position. We got Ironic. Doesn't know what he's doing there. Muni takes out Ruthless. And Ironic takes out Trevs. The bomb still hasn't been planted. It is a slow A here, it looks like. But it looks like they've gone back to B. The bomb will be planted, I think. Boontang is last up again. Could Boontang he do the 1v2 know. this time? He knows now. Oh, now he does. Boontang does realise it is a B. Mitch here sitting at YB and Raptor's sitting at just before Stone Bridge. What could Boontang do here? It'd be good if he can take out this round. But United's 16-7 prediction is looking good at the moment, United. Yeah, no surprises. <laughs> and we've got Mitch here, still at YB, and Raptor still looking at Stone Bridge. Boontang is just about to run in Raptor's line of sight. No, he didn't. Raptor did not spot him. But I guess he's going to hear him he's now on the time. bomb. Mitch is taking him down. Oh, Raptor steals the kill. And there we go. Share him around. Lots to share around. Raptor doing good. 17-8. Really doing good things. Trev, 17-17. Even though he's had some big plays, at least he's carrying his own weight in this match. He's not a... Um, well, all of them have gone positive, except for Trev. So, that's uh, that's rare to see. Elevate looking pretty strong now. 13-7. Can, uh, can United's prediction of 16-7 come to light? It looks like a bomb has been dropped, or did they not pick it up? They haven't picked it up yet. Trev has got the bomb now. Mitch does take out Spit Rose. Too many Vs for me tonight. 
Getting a bit jittery and a bit of gas coming up. But here we go. So if I do, if there is a bit of a belch, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. Boontang there takes out Mitch. Strong. Boontang plus 10 takes out Trev's Rain on the Ruthless. It's all happening here, ladies and gentlemen. 3v2 in, uh, in the last few rounds of this game. What can Quantum do? Can they pull back with those two players? We've got Boontang here. And what's he carrying at the moment? I know she just switched to Ump. He hasn't gone back to Scope yet, has he? No, he's carrying an Ump. And Silent Kill here. So we've got... They're, they're more focused on the A side here. Silent Kill's are just coming through Cave now. And I don't think there's anyone beyond here. There is one at Red Rock. And he's got two to deal with here at um, at the B bomb site. So that's going to be tough. Mooney does spot him up there just in Cave. He's going for the... Uh, for the bait, and is he going to poke? He's not going to poke, but he does know where he is, so he should keep him pretty calm. Jumps around the corner, bang, bang, bang. See you later, Silent Kill. It's all up to Boontang once again, and Raptor will probably have that sorted out. No, he's coming across bridge, so 1v1 situation here, ladies and gentlemen. Boontang and Raptor. Raptor's coming around now. Does spot him up. Oh, no, what a mistake. You shouldn't have done that, Boontang. Throwing that flash got you killed, unfortunately. If we see here, Raptor just sees his foot, jumps around, sees the flash come out. He says, this is, I'm going in for the kill now. See you later, Boon Tank. And they pull it out. 14 to 7. Double the points. Elevate just taking this lead out to too far. Doesn't look like Quantum will come back, but it looks like it's going to be a fast beat this time. Trev's as he has been doing, pushing down Stone Bridge, taking out Boon Tank. Good second half here from Trev's. Trev's taking out Ironic. Can he get he a He sees one more into this cave. Will he get this first? Spear Rush with another plus 10. Plus 10 to all, like I said before. Silent Kill taking out Trev's. Muni taking out Ruthless. 2v2 situation here. We got Rain here up in... Oh, down in River. And Muni just jumping on this bomb. And we got Spear Rush and... No, Spear Rush down. Rain takes out Spear Rush. Silent Kill takes out Round. Rain, 1v1 situation here. Muni versus Silent Kill. Who will win? I supposedly think the smarter player will win, which is Muni at the moment. Oh. But no, Silent Kill has taken out Muni and gets his team back within six rounds of this match between Quantum and Elevate. Well, you're looking at a situation here where Elevate need two to win and Quantum need uh, either six to win or five, six, eight, eight to win. Seven to force overtime. I can't see that happening. I'm pretty sure Elevate will continue this season undefeated so far and look to have a strong um, setup in the finals. Bootang, Ruthless, Ironic, all picking up. Frags, Mooney jumps around the corner a bit quick. Ironic takes him down. And before we know it, it's all up to poor little Rain, who's in Slaughterhouse. What can he do? He's got a tough task. Does spot up one. Bang, 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 down. Who's next? They want He would want them to rush to him, and that's what they're doing. Mango's timed out. No more refing for Mango this game. And Q, ladies and gentlemen, have thrown on two rounds in a row. Is this a bit of a comeback train, you think? I would say not yet cyanide. I couldn't agree more, but wouldn't it be exciting if Quantum can? That will be a great finish this, to the Invite League season. And uh, anyway, we've got Spiros here chucking a nade out on Stone Bridge and chucking a spastic flash <laughs> onto mid. Anyway, it looks like they, they're going A again, Elevate. Picking, Quantum picking it up pretty early, knowing that they're going A. We've got Ruthless here sitting in this bush watching this river. And we've got Ironic pushing the flank, but Trevs takes out Ironic. Trevs with a really good second half there. And we've got Trevs sitting on this Stone Bridge still. We've got Raptor throwing a nade out to... The, well, but doesn't seem to get anyone. Ruthless takes out Rain. It's a 4v4 situation here. Mitch is flashed. What could happen here? Don't know who flashed Mitch, but here we go. We've got Mooney taking out Boontang. 3v4 situation here. Silent Kill taking out Miz. Mitch. Trevs knows where he is. Trevs takes out Spit Roast. Raptor takes out Ruthless. It's all up to Silent Kill sitting on this cliff. He does spot one jump onto the bomb. The bomb is being planted, and it is Trevs planting. We got Raptor here up in Slaughter, and we got Muni right behind Silent Hill's butt. We got Muni just about to push him. Muni looks like no, it's Raptor that takes out the kill. I'd say not too sure, to be honest. Yeah, it is. Raptor takes out the kill and takes out the round for Elevate. 15-9. 15-9. Is this the last round here with Elevate pushing it out to a 16-9 win, securing their spot as number one, um, number one 
place on the CGI League. And just quickly, if anyone watching isn't following us, just above the stream on the left-hand side, click that follow button for us. Trev's here, gone for something a little different. Trev went for the AK. Mate, you should probably stick with the ACR and the ump. You've been doing better with that. Now we've got Raptor here. Misses out on two. Does pick up one, though, being spit roast. Rain does take down Silent Kill. One up here, ladies and gentlemen, for Quantum, which is ironic. He did have a good round last round, but this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably over here. Does spot someone up on bridge. Someone else coming around, jumping around the corner. Elevate, ladies and gentlemen, have won that match. 16-9. Well played to Quantum, and well played to Elevate. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So Quantum... Playing that well makes me surprised they've walked away this season with just the one frag. I'm not too sure, just the one win. Not too sure how that's happened, especially when they've played as well as they have there. Calling the comeback a bit too early there, Cyanide. Well, they did put a couple of rounds on. I didn't say I, I, I did say it's a bit early for me to call the comeback train, but wouldn't it be nice? It would have been good to see a bit more of that match. It was exciting. Glad to see Elevate do take out the game, but... Just uh, checking all my spam there on um, on Steam. I don't I don't know if, I don't know about it during the game, so I get I get a hundred messages after. But that was a fantastic game. I really enjoyed that. Thanks for joining us, Fresh. Me, I need to run off. I need a quick shower, and then I'm jumping in the car and I'm driving down to Melbourne. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I won't be around tomorrow, so no streams. I don't think tomorrow. Night, um, but later on, I know we've got some exciting Black Ops stuff coming up. Um, not Black Ops 2, we need to wait for that fix because at the moment I'm getting kicked out after a couple of minutes of play, disconnected from server and everything else. Hopefully, there's a fix soon. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen, that is the season over for Modern Warfare 3 Leagues. All up to finals now, all up to finals. Big exciting stuff coming in the next two weeks with finals. A lot of good teams playing and battling it out. And what did you think of that match, quickly, United? That was a decent match, expected, but, yeah, some big plays by Trev. Yeah, Trev did some good stuff, but he, he only finished off um, even, or maybe one under even, so that was a big surprise, but he certainly got a few plus tens, a lot of plus tens tonight, um, and whatnot. And Elevate, like I said, Quantum play, they've played a 1,000 hours in the last week combined, no doubt in my mind about that. Elevate... Um, don't really play at all. You might see the occasional person in pub and definitely looking um, strong. Do you see any team in CGI beating them? To be Arcon. honest, Sina. Oh. That <laughs> may be a little bit biased. Did you, did you, sorry, going... sorry, did you say Archon? Yeah. Get out. Get Maybe out a little bit biased. Me. My goodness. Uh, no, I don't think, I don't think <laughs> you guys will. I mean, you, you play off and you play a right, elevate do look strong. That probably comes down to map selection and a bit of luck. And then you got C Hop, who are probably the next ones. FBR, I don't think. I actually think, um, with all respect, I know, I know uh, our good friend at Team Down TV, Coil, is watching, but I think FBR might go out in the first week. Just like Honor and Obey. I think they'll be dropping first week. So, how does this work, Sinod? Is it first versus four? Oh, you're asking, you can't ask me admin questions. Anyone, anyone oh. respectable knows not to ask me admin questions because I never have the answer. But this one I can. It's actually um, very... It's the same as what Black Ops did in their Season 1. It's it's first play second, winner goes through the grand final, second gets a second chance. Third and fourth play, the loser's dropped out, the winner plays the loser of first and second, if that makes sense, for a spot in the grand final. So that's how it works. Top two teams have a double chance. They can lose their first week and then win their second week and they'll be in the grand final. And I think that's a pretty good system, personally. I like it. Yeah, sounds good. Can't wait till final start. Would be a great round. Great grand final if we do say Elevate versus Seahop. Or is what I'm praying for anyway. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. Well, that's it from me. I'm quickly going to... Uh, upload this video to YouTube and I will stick the link on cybergamer.com.au and it should be ready in about uh, 40 minutes I would think for you guys to watch so that's it from us have a great night thanks everyone for tuning in and we'll see everyone um, later on the week thank you